good morning and welcome to the bridge course in english language today is day 10 let's start with the module 1 of day 10 module 1 talks about the basics of english language its vocabulary and its pronunciation today we are going to talk about your own college how exactly to describe your own college is the emphasis today associated with this we have the module number 3 which is a situational english and it talks about a few dialogues of your own college so today we are going to talk about college especially your college and a few dialogues related to it and how to describe your college with the functional english dealing with asking permission and taking permission let's get started with it how should you describe your college Oh, are you missing your college? Yes, definitely yes, because it is it is almost the end of July, and you are not still seen in the college, and maybe you are still at your home or in your village, and missing your college. This beautiful building is Yashwant Mahavidyalaya Nandit. How should you describe my college? The name of my college is Yashwant Mahavidyalaya Nandit. It's one of the prestigious. colleges and a premier institutions in the city of nanded affiliated to swami ramanand tirth marathwada university nanded i love my college very much and let me introduce all of you to my college it is situated on the vip road baba nagar and um, on a huge campus of 30 to 32 acres of land of shri sharda bhavan education society this uh, college has got a huge entrance and the moment you enter into the college building you have a right side and a left side if you move towards the right side it is a junior college building and if you move towards the left side it is a senior college building around 8000 students are on its campus on top you could see the college logo and on right you could see your principal dr ganesh chandra shinde the the building that is projected is the senior college building and exactly here because all of us belong to the humanities faculty on the first floor we have the classes being run for arts and on the ground floor is the office and principal's cabin as well as vice principal's cabin as you enter into the college this is a newly constructed three storied building which hosts microbiology department biotechnology department environmental science and dairy science towards your right you have the college building as viewed from the humanities building that is the science building the ground floor as well as the first floor host the science faculties like chemistry botany zoology mathematics physics electronics and computer science and in between the arts faculty building and the science faculty building you have the beautiful lawns it's exactly in the center that the department of english is situated the college has got a state of the art indoor stadium which hosts a number of games and sports for the students and the students have won a number of laurels not only from the college but also intra college inter college and inter university as well as national levels the college has got a beautiful botanical garden by the side of the library hosting a number of botanical trees this is the picture of the girls hostel it's a two storied building housing around 100 or more girls in it this is our college library The college library is also very well maintained with the newspaper section, journal section, periodical section, textbook section and the reference book sections. Towards the right side of the slide you could see the boys reading room on the first floor. It has got boys reading room and a separate girls reading room which is open especially during the examination period even till 10:30 in the evening to help the students continue their studies. This is our beautiful department the department of english it has got a language laboratory it's a state of the art language laboratory having 20 student modules 
connected to the teacher's module and it uses a number of english speaking and learning softwares like oral and uh, <clears throat> that is our english teacher explaining all of us regarding the english phonetics on the right side you have the e learning center of the college in our department and it records the lessons of the teachers and also arranges a number of programs with an app of the college this is our entire department a few of our students optional english students and the staff with the head of the department in the center and the st supporting staff of english department our college has got very spacious and highly ventilated classrooms each room actually hosts around 100 to 150 students it has got wonderful furniture and um, for the students and a platform for the teacher with a podium to help the teacher teach the lessons with the white board green board black board and also lcd screen many of the classrooms are provided with computers lcd screens and lcd projectors along with internet facility to facilitate the learning and make the learning a very enjoyable experience our college has got an amphitheater in the middle which hosts all the cultural programs on it in front of the amphitheater are the green gardens uh, where the students sit to enjoy the cultural shows this is the auditorium of the college kusum auditorium on the left you could see the stage and on the right you could see the auditorium it's a huge auditorium hosting around 1000 students or individuals and it is not only used for the college programs but is also given for to the society to the community um, for rent to organize a number of cultural programs opposite to the amphitheater we have the steps or the stairs on which the students sit to enjoy the cultural shows and also the social and cultural meets organized on the campus The students of Yashwant Mahavidyalaya have won a number of laurels not only in the academics but also in the curricular and co-curricular activities like NSS, NCC, sports and cultural. In the middle exactly you could see a special uh, photo which is of Ms Bhageshwari Namwade who is MA second year student. dear students she is your senior right now she is in ma second year i say right now because she has not given her examinations and she is not a pass out of the department yet even while she was in ma second year in the december 2019 net examination we are very happy to share that she has qualified net with jrf i hope all of you also will take care and work hard in literature and language studies and win many more laurels like bhagyashree thank you very much for getting yourselves acquainted with your own college your own department and your own achievements describe your department and your college in your own words hope you have enjoyed today's session thank you for watching and bye for now stay tuned for the next videos